100 of yeah. the best players in the entire world are about to face off for 15 million dollars jack guess what 100 players the battle bus is loaded six five four ladies and gentlemen here we go king on the defensive at this point he might have the high oh my gosh sneaks the shotgun shot in right before the ramp can go down. Wait, wait, yeah. Oh no! Okay. Oh okay. no! Big crunch to the center of the map. You might not be able to see in the bottom right there, but folks, it is just northeast centered from Neo Tilted. Everyone is going to get pushed together into the city. Let's see here. Dubs. Trying to push from the outside of Flint, knock his opponent to rotate away, and Dubs does not want to let them go. 46 back to back hits, and he can't find a bead on Evil Mare. Goes down out here at the old Greasy Grove Ice Lake. Mr. Savage has shot down Rux for the moment. He still continues to keep height. Yarkos, though, looking to challenge right now. 27 players left. Placement for points it. about to come into play. Yarkos takes the ultimate high in the backside there. Riverson from Team Liquid flying across right to left in your screen. Multiple players, ultimate low ground warriors down there, both in and out of ballers. Class looks like he might be looking for a campfire in the middle of it. Mr. Savage. King! Rocket. King at seven of limbs! Gosh. And it's made it into placements. King absolutely. The number one performance so far in game one. 120 in total HP. Can he find us a limb? No! As the crowd erupts. Top 20 now, though, but King got the job done. There was 27 players left, Dr. Lugo. King eliminates the last two to make it a top 25 for the placement points. Huge plays there. Waylon Kurtz Ooh. going down to the feed. What a shot and a quick edit swap there. Bella EU. Oh, all one player, the one player just shot down. the height. It's still some up top. Still got it. Same floor as Creole. 1v1 up top. 1v1 on the bottom. Stuck in the box. Big hits. Back to back shots. Booga picking up another elimination. Booga is insane now. Almost going to be his game to win. We'll see here another one. Can he find the ninth elimination and the first victory royale, the World Cup solos? Dr. Lupo, it might be time soon. It might be time soon. Booga, Booga smiling. He's got the health advantage on Creo. He does. Folks, it might be time for the shockwave play. Booga could soar up into the sky. Go for it. Here it is. Shockwave to hide. Shots coming in. No elimination yet for the first game. Victory Royale. Oh, my gosh. Confident play from Booga. What a monster. The first victory Royale. Huge first game for the NA player. That's what you want to see. You want a health advantage at the end. Nine E-limbs to cap off an incredible first game. What is your thought process going into the final moments of in-game, right? A 1v1 there at the end. You've got health advantage. What are you thinking? Uh, well, I'm pretty much low ground. I have like 200 mats, and I realized that I could probably make a play with the impulse, just go for it and just like get a big pump on him. The lobby is ready. The players are ready. Ladies and gentlemen in the venue, are you ready? It's like a lot of players still outside the zone as you'd expect, but they'll begin to rotate on through as the first storm will close. Boy, plenty of time to make decisions. Force engagement there, the tree disappears, and that drum shotgun spewing shells out. Gonna push inside the box. Can't quite get the wall if the trap was placed. No luck there. Doesn't have one in the inventory. Nix still trying to apply as much pressure as possible without having to chew through too many rounds. Reload here, the drum shotgun. So much damage dealt with this thing so far. Wouldn't be surprised if he goes in for it here in just a second, and he does watching that corner. Hornet still on the defensive. Long range spray from a drum shotgun isn't enough, but up close, the thing oh. is very, very deadly. Nix picking up first elimination for him in this game. Also with the emote after the eliminations. So that's two so far, this is spicy. Quick note, King currently has the highest damage in the match. 574, meaning, like I said, that aggressive gameplay. Still in it, still trying to win, still trying to get the beat on players, and a quick beam on Aspect up the ramp, caught off guard by an edit play. A shot Dude. through the wall, King. gets the follow through with the edit. Nate goes down. He is playing out of his mind right now. King reminds me of like Vinny and Zextro back from the earlier duo competitions when they would just try to fight anyone they saw. 
Memphis at two eliminations, sitting in the middle of the pack right now. Seven players remaining. The end of no game builds. two right before your eyes, folks. 120 total of HP. He can't spend any time out of the zone right now. Player goes down inside the box. Can't quite get in. One right behind outside. Can't find a beat. Issa goes down, placed in fourth. A 1v1. Dubs, the ultimate high ground. The crowd cheering behind him, looking to see if he can capitalize on this advantageous position. Look down low, it's Skype for Skype. A little bit of a build off between the two, layering defensively against each other, but Dubs. No build. One build. The flint knock to save him on the drop might be the play just outside ahead of the build. Maybe can catch himself. Oh my gosh, off is he the he <laughs> Around inside the storm. This might be it. Shockwave into the flint knock, into the safe zone, doubling back, another one, a valiant effort. He's got to find a beat, but he won't be able to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, game two goes to Skite. Skite had 27 health left, 8 HP. If he took one hit from the storm, he was dead, but he clutches on up. This is it all on the line. Let's see who will take away another victory royale, or will we see one of our two winners get back-to-back -back wins, get double wins? That will be massive for them. Oh, man, I'm excited, Monster. They're really just struggling to try and get positioning over the other player. That is the struggle that they're wrestling with here. See, he's wrestling again. Worked out well that time. All right, Lesh this time has decided to commit. He is now down face to face. There is nowhere. Astonish can run. He goes into it. Oh, Lands man. the two shot. And that's the little tactic right there. If there is a ramp in front of the wall, you have to recognize you are in big danger because there's a nifty little trick to get you in that box. Riversand has to reset. Needs to be careful not to get hit by that storm. Someone's going to be above him. He's and too good. An elimination onto Skype. We're now sitting at a 1v1. Two players left standing here. Who's it going to be down low? It's Dubs. It's Dubs down low. And Riversand has Dubs on his sight. Who's going to get the win here? Riversand navigating, tarping. He has seven builds remaining. Dubs trying to play defense, giving himself any kind of cover that he can possibly maintain. But Riversand, a few more explodes remaining. That could punish Dubs. He's really trying to keep him down to the zone here, Golden Boy. Oh, man, this is it. He sends another one out, and they're just telling him, you got to run. He goes into it. He's still holding position. Dubs has the high ground, but he does in front of him, and Dubs gets a victory royale on the world stage. Absolutely incredible for Dubs to connect. Finally hits all of his shots, and nearly a back-to-back -back performance right there. That is the kind of comeback story you want to see here on the main stage. Prove to the world that you're the greatest to ever do it. Now with that, Dubs goes up to third place. At the top though, Skype, he managed to make it to the end game, as well as Booga. So, our three winners, one, two, and three, in the order of which they, they took their, their victories. Game yes. one was Booga, game two was Skype, and game three was Dubs. The next game is gonna start up Game four about to begin. New York City, come on, let me hear you. Sometimes when you're in these fights, you just don't expect when another player, they're gonna hear, they're gonna hear the gunfire. So they're gonna try and push the fight, maybe get an advantage out of it, and then it's Mega! Mega marches on in and gets the better of Issa. Now it's gonna have to deal with Moffin. Does not have that floor quite yet. Moffin's holding it down. Does he get the hack through? Moffin goes in for the Ooh. fight, but that's gonna be another one. Number two for the Mega Man. We wanted some Shifty Shafts action, and we got it right there. Clean builds. Just one of the great support night altogether. On the side, I was looking at this fight between Ruxin and Riversand. Riversand went for high ground numerous times, and Tifu gets eliminated by Mongrel. And then Rux has high ground, as you see on your screen to the left. Coming down to the wire, top nine remaining. One in front of Mongrel. Does he get the Elim? He manages to just get away by the skin of his teeth. And Boy, now so Mongrel much. gets up to the high ground, maybe using this. If you keep jumping on the wall and you won't go out of the shadow state. He gets up top, but there's no one going to be there. There's a person all the way above him, knocks the structure down, and the player does manage to catch himself and maintain the high ground positioning here. We have some great players still left in this game, but Mongrel with four eliminations is looking for number five, and that was on Nate. We're now down to the final moments, top five monster. He had to fully commit there. Those are the maps that he needs. He's still in the game here. He's going to go all the way for it, and that's a trade oh. with the 109 to the Huge elimination on Takamura. We're into a 1v1v1v1. Top four players 
up now. Mongrel in the ultimate low ground. Going up against the player. Oh. It's gonna be Boga. The game one winner will not be enough against Mongrel, who does get picked quite a bit. He loses a lot of HP. No more build, but the victory royale goes to the veteran Som, who manages to pick up a massive win. Using the shockwaves in the final moments to snatch the high ground, Som claims a victory, but it's Mogro who had a ton of eliminations and really was the ruining factor for so many of our top 10 competitors. Boga still holding on to first place. Look how far ahead he is. Eight points currently, but Som now jumps in to second place, Nate in third. The lobby is ready. Ladies and gentlemen, the battle bus launches in two, one. Game five underway of the Fortnite World Cup Final Solos competition. A little bit of a build battle and see who can take ownership of the walls. King building up and layering yet again. Oh my goodness. The shockwave. He's actually going for it. Are you kidding me? Lunezzi goes down and King back up to 85 HP. What a play out of builds, no movement items, made it to top 15. For me, this is already a fantastic game for Booga. You've got placement points. Oh Another elimination! How about oh a second? Gosh. Booga, what are you doing? Two elims come in, he's back up to near full HP, and he's in the top 10, and he's got all the materials he could ever need. Booga, how are you making this happen? From no mats and no movement. He knows how important that game is. Now we're in our top three. Pika up top following him earlier on today. Pisces and Creo all the way down low. Zero builds in Pika's inventory. It's gonna be tough. He's gonna have to drop in and go for a fight. Cannot connect. Pisces finds that elimination. Creo gets the final one in game five goes to Creo. I don't think he can believe it. I don't know if, I don't know if anyone caught it at home, but what he does right there is Flint knocks the opponent. Hits him for that body damage and then shoots him into the zone. Great game for Creo right there. And you see repping his team. Oh, there it is. My. Uh, one or two, are you kidding me? Ladies and gentlemen, Booga sits atop his throne far and away in first place. He is one game from three million dollars. And this is the last game the battle bus has launched one more time. The Fortnite World Cup Finals ends right here. The wall against that, the ramp to save him. One chance for the minis is gonna wall off still back and forth between these two Titans. The campfire goes down. As soon as that wall edit happens, the ramp inside just to prevent any push from the opponent. Are from finding another angle might be the only option at this point. The campfire though is going to have dealt a lot of HP back to Baney. Shot through, can't quite connect. Here we go, pressure up top, and oh my gosh, Dude. the pyramid block. Finally, the storm deciding it's time to play the fight out. Ball boom, the ultimate high ground. Teach up going for a challenge up top. Does in fact take it over. Meanwhile, Buga. Box fight for his life. A little back and forth here. He's waiting to see if this player rotates out. There it is, a big shot. Another elimination. And he's got, he's got near max Are materials. Kidding me? He's gonna trap the ball. Oh, the ball escapes. The absolute seeds right now. Booga still moving through. And at this point, it's a sign of respect. We've gotta watch this man continue to dominate. A statement is being made. Dr. Lupo at the end of this game. He'll most likely be crowned the best Fortnite player in the world. I've never seen anybody play in a competitive Fortnite match with a smile on his face like this kid right now. Booga, still alive. Shots going down. Can't connect with that one. One build left. The final moment of Fortnite World Cup. Oh Top. my gosh. Bow Drop. down. Surprise. Bow down to Booga. Doesn't even matter. Four players, three players remaining. It's a fight out for the victory royale in game six. Two on left. On 1v1. Crew still in it. Teach up as well, back and forth, and it might come down to a heel off. Teach up dropping down those campfires. <laughs> we'll see here. Crew following it all the way in, and Teach up goes down. Crew with the victory royale. Crew with seven eliminations and the victory royale. The monster performance at the end of it that could have just secured him hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe even over a million dollars by just that game right there with how he does.
But ladies and gentlemen, there's no way anyone beats him. Your Fortnite World Champion, Booga! Ladies and gentlemen, this cup is yours one more time.